click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for more updates. All right, hi everyone, and I'm back, and I am going to try and do this again with another friend of mine. His name is Ranveer the Singh. Let me see if I can get him. Okay. Where are you, Ranbir Fischel? We're gonna try and find him. He's shooting for Gully Boy. What happened? <laughs> Let me see. This technology stuff is rubbish. I really sometimes miss being able to talk to you guys just like on the phone, just like saying hi and doing videos. It would be so much easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hello, Cecile. Hi, Shanoi. This stuff is hard. So, for International Women's Day, before I go, and I'm gonna try Ranveer in a bit so you guys can talk to him, I just wanna give you one last message. Keep this conversation going. Whatever happens, just keep talking about it. We don't just need today to have this conversation. We can do it anytime, all day, every day, every year, so that it just becomes normal and we don't need a particular day to do it, you know? Um, I'm getting requests, but I'm trying to make this happen. Hey guys, help me with this. I'm saying unable. I'm saying that. These are my girls. Hi. Hi. Unable to join. Is he not, he not, has to be watching your live. He is watching he is. it. Looks like Ranveer is watching it, but can't. His live request is not coming to me. But... But guys, Ranveer official... Come on, Rano, where are you? I don't know why this request is not going through. This is so crazy. I really want you guys to hear what he has to say because he has such amazing things to say. My girls want to see what you're wearing, Ranveer. <laughs> we go see him by the way i've been called to set and i'm sort of sitting here <laughs> yeah. ranveer <laughs> Are you live have the ranveer saying hey holla Look at all those what hearts up, going cray 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 happy woman's day happy woman's day daisy girl How's shoot going then? We are shooting Gali Boy. Shoot is going right good. Now. We're doing night shoots constantly. We're on the road now. We're uh, uh, about to take some gorilla shots. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> we're never gonna tell anybody in the world, guys. Everyone who's following us, don't tell anyone we're doing gorilla shots. Then we, my girls, on this very feminist day, are asking those two sitting over there. They're asking, "What are you wearing?" <laughs> I wore question. a green color skirt today. He wore a green colored skirt today. So yesterday when we got off work, Zoya sent a message to the entire crew was like because it's women's day tomorrow I want everybody and when I mean everybody I mean everybody to wear skirts. So every all the light boys, all the guys, all the girls, everybody had to wear a skirt. It is skirt day. I so, love it. Skirt yeah. day. You wore a skirt? Yeah. I wore a skirt. Picture of you in a skirt. 
but we've seen you in a skirt before during baji rao you wore a skirt too. yeah when we uh, yeah 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 at that launch yeah you wore that long skirt and you were all kinds of cute in it and we <laughs> real men wear skirts real men do wear skirts come on tell us something what do you think about you know women's day do you think we need a day to be women's day no man i don't know why people have days for everything because we Every have to day... ask we have to ask for people to give us importance that's why man um i don't know i mean i was raised by women my nani my mummy my sister who i mean whatever i am today i am because of them they raised me they're like lionesses you know um i don't know where i'd be or what i'd be i am what i am because of them and um and yeah i mean i think it's great that we're celebrating women today um and i'm just happy to be talking to you i really have nothing intelligent to say and it's damn you scary you have said that i need edit no this is as well it's, it's like doing it's I, like doing i can't face face even all pc the things you talk me into pc jesus christ man i'm on shoot right now god i have to act and all yeah Are you will act so well, Ranu? Thank you. I, I'm sorry I put you in the spot, but I was just like getting all my so friends to just give positive messages in the world because the conversation is uh, so important. And we all miss you a lot. Why don't you come back to India and do some more Hindi movies? For God's sake! Please. It's almost happening, Ranu. It's almost happening. I want all the gup. I'll give you all the gup, and we're not talking to the whole world. <laughs> Say hi to Soya for me. I keep, Say hi yeah, to everyone forgetting. else for me. I will. I will. And shoot well, and I'll see you soon. I'm back in India in about a week. Love, love. Host a party. I will. Bye, boo. Thank you. So he is so sweet, and you guys are all so sweet. Thank you so much, and I'll come back again with a special guest very soon. Bye, guys. Happy. And we're back. I'm gonna try this again. I sometimes I really feel technology hates me, as much as I love it. It's insane. Hi Sia, hi Ms. Rator. All right, Kate, I'm going to try this again. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Can you give her a minute to log on? Log oh, here it is. Oh. Here, come here. Okay. Yeah. Your poor connection. PC heartbeat what's going on you know how it is guys technology sometimes can disappoint us all right let's see if she's available hi rinki nice to see you too taran hook bharat you got a lot of emojis Thank you my hair. Hmm. I hear something. Chicky bean. So while I'm waiting for Kate and the connection to happen, you know, I should just talk to you guys about why this day is so important. It's not like we need a day to celebrate women, but the fact that we have around the world this gives us the ability to sort of dig our heels in and say, you know, we're not going to stand for this anymore. We're not going to stand for just we're not going to stand for us not having our own choices us not having our own options and our own opportunities and i think it's such a great time to be a woman with people like you all over the world um supporting women there are a lot of women that have inspired me through my life um my mom is a big one because she is an overachiever and she's um not just a doctor but also um you know she handles her own business she speaks like nine languages she's a pilot um she's pretty epic and you know to be raised by someone as strong as her was amazing my father was exactly the same both my parents really gave me um a lot of strength 
and a lot of um, courage of conviction, you know. And um, oh my God, so many people saying, "Hey, I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't go to the Oscars this year. I didn't." People are being really nice to my pimple today, by the way. A lot of y'all are like, "Oh, it needs to go." You know what, guys? It's real. It happened. Deal with it. <laughs> Hi Amal, how are you? Yes. Um, Shrahim. I'm just there's some people writing to me in another language, which Hindi and English are good for me, guys. I can just do the two. Okay, let's just read. Thank you, I'm honey. Happy Women's Day. No. Um, Priyanshu Kumari, hi. How are you? Come to London, Ninzi says. Come to London. Um, yeah, well, that's not happening right now. I do love London. Though I'm coming to Ireland next month, guys. It's gonna be really amazing, and uh, I'm gonna be filming. Um, I'm gonna be filming. Um, hi, Dana. <laughs> <laughs> that was Dana. She got really embarrassed. <laughs> I don't want to try it. Where? How do I do this? OMG. Gardozi, hello. Jazz is asking, what do I love most about this day? What I love most about this? Oh my God, look who we have. It's Kate Bosworth. Connection made it. Hi. Can you hear me, Kate? I don't know if she can hear me. Hey, Kate, can you hear me? Well, you look beautiful. I can tell you're in a car. We're celebrating International Women's Day and you're definitely one of the international women I definitely want to celebrate. Hey! I think technology hates us today. What is happening? Yeah, I can hear you on and off. Put it on speaker. For I know you are in a car. Listen, you look um, you looked amazing at the Oscars, by the way. Patty did your makeup, and she does my makeup all the time. And I was just like, gotta do that. That lip was everything. Can you hear me? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But we have picture. I can sort of ish here. -ish. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god, perfect. Awful. I got you. This is Did so you? good right now. But let me just ask you a big question. Today's International Women's okay. Day and I really get your okay. take on you know, as women in the business and as women that have been doing this for such a long time, as someone who people admire so much with you, I'm going to ask you a quirky question. If okay. there was like one song, oh, oh, no, no, wait, I'll ask you this question. If we could do a parade for International Women's Day, which woman would you put on the main float? I mean, it has to be Oprah. I thought that too. She's, she's the Oprah. queen. Yeah, right, she's there's amazing. There's nobody else to think of. Yeah, she's Great the greatest. Minds. Great minds, yes. think alike. <laughs> but tell me on like International Women's Day, you're doing your new movie called Tate, and I'm so excited, by the way, about that because that's an incredible story to tell. 
Um, but how do you, as a woman in the business, in the world today, feel like girls who don't have voices like us or don't have platforms like us and, you know, whose lives are decided for them? What yeah. is it that this generation can make them feel that'll empower them, you know, that'll make them, that, that where they can say no and that I don't want someone else to decide for my life? Yeah. I mean, I've been so inspired by this generation and... You know, I think that there's so much that so much work we have left to do, but the sort of warrior spirit that is just innate in this next generation to me is like one of the most exciting things I've seen in such a long time. I have a 20 year old stepdaughter, Jasper, mm -hmm. and uh, she's just amazing. Like, she's the most fearless, incredible woman, um, young woman. And, um, you know, I think that we have to just stand together. I think the idea of inclusiveness is incredibly important. Um, and we're always going to be stronger together. Girl, I think we girl. all, like, you know, yeah. Like I think recognize women that unity. A, yeah. Women for such a long time, we've sort of been pitted against each other. Don't you think like yeah. the best one will get the boy or the best one will get the part? Yeah. We didn't realize for the longest time that that's not the case with guys and that's not how it should be with us. Like we can totally. be happy if someone else wins an award or we can be happy if someone else's film does well or someone else Absolutely. gets a job. Yeah. And I think yeah. that's like, that's a change that is happening with our generation. Totally. And I think that like, um, I'm happiest when I see other people really happy. And like, if you know, that, that fills me with joy. And I think that, you know, to kind of build someone's confidence is really important to me and to, you know, I'm 35 now, so I have enough experience where, mentorship is something that I can pay forward now, which is something else that really fulfills me. And I find to be an incredibly important part of my life now to find different mentees, whether they're in the arts or not, but to kind of help guide them um, as best as I can, or to help them in any way I can, you know. What do you, you travel so much, Kate, and you know, you shoot all around the world. What have you observed is you think the biggest global issue for women today? I think just equality period, you know, yeah. like I think that, and, and that different, that, that kind of, um, is more extreme in some ways in different parts of the world. And, 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 you know, whether it's in pay equality or just being treated equally in the workspace or in the family, in the family space, I mean, it can, it can really kind of run the gamut, but I think the idea of equality is something that, you know, we, we're really going to have to continue to work towards and, um, and just, you know, hold people accountable, you know? I mean, I think that that's something, at least in my own life, I've found really difficult to do in my industry is to, to actually call something out when it was wrong and to hold that person yeah. accountable because there's fear that goes along with that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Completely. Yeah, so, like your career will be destroyed, or and yeah. the easiest thing to take away from a woman, I feel like, especially in our business, is like character assassination, slut shaming. She probably yeah. wanted it. She probably wanted the job, or she asked for it. And you know, you hear that all over the world, and and that's it's such a like in my I can't wrap my head around that because just yeah. because unless she says yes, she is not asking for it, guys. <laughs> it's not no. as simple as that. No. No, absolutely not. Yeah, it's, um, but I do find a lot of hope right now. I mean, just kind of seeing how everyone's coming together and they feel it's like an energized, inspired feeling that I, I have not yet witnessed in my lifetime. And it's just, it's a really exciting time, you know? Yeah, like I feel like living between India and America and I travel so much around the world and I'm seeing like this phenomenon everywhere. Um, yeah. In America with the Time's Up movement, the Me Too um, even in India and around the world where women are actually standing up and saying, you know what, I'm not going to stand for it anymore. Time is truly up because I have brotherhood. Yeah. I have, you see men who are proud feminists, which is such a new phenomenon. Like I haven't seen that in my lifetime at all. Which is really amazing. Um, but listen, thank you so much for taking that kind of time. I have one last question to ask you. Um, just, the most important message, I guess, for for women and men. They just killed my light. 
but I think like the most important message you think for girls around the world today. Can you hear me? Did I lose you? Did I lose you? Oh, I think I lost Kate. Okay, well, I think I lost Kate. Will you text her people and see that I think we lost her? I think I lost her. I'm going to keep talking to you guys all day and um, keep making you meet some of my friends and uh, some of these amazing, incredible men and women that I've had the opportunity to meet. And happy International Women's Day, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hi, everyone. How are you? So today is International Women's Day, and, you know, we keep, I'm highlighting incredible women around the world that I really, really like. But I think what is also very important is to highlight men. Men who are feminists, men who think that it's important, the movement, women's rights are human rights. And I have two such men from my set of Quantico. This is the amazing Blair Underwood. What's up, y'all? What's up? It's the day. It's a special day. So I got a question for you. Wait, wait. wait. Let me introduce oh, the other oh, one. Okay, sorry. Start hey, asking man. me. Oh, this bad. is Alan Powell. Just trying to take over. No, over never nice to see you guys. How are Hi, you? everyone. So I'm going to ask both of these gentlemen have daughters. So we're going to have a really interesting conversation about what ha what is having women and being surrounded by women mean to the two of you? Heaven. Really? Heaven. Oh, you are right? such a... I agree. Come really? On, why? 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 Why do we? Why do we like women in our lives? Well, they're way better than we are. Yes, yeah, smarter. Definitely. Heart, passion, brains, drive. What is? What is your favorite thing about your she's daughter? Like How old is your daughter? Hit, she's nineteen. My daughter's nineteen years old. <laughs> my favorite thing about my daughter is that she. Ooh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Like as she's a female. Got, she's got great personality. And she thinks she can do anything. I'll tell you that because I have two sons and one daughter. Anything and everything those boys can do, she knows she can do. I love that. She's fearless. Yeah. yeah. Fearless is a very important quality for women around the world to adopt right now. Alan, what about you? You're, how old are your daughters? Seven, five, and three. Three daughters. That's crazy. Three daughters. Little ones. I'm, I'm in for... It's going to be good. It's going to be a good ride. <laughs> oh, we're going to pray for you, brother. Tell Thanks, me, what are, you, what are you nervous about? You know, raising daughters in the world the way it is today. Mm -hmm. And what are the things that you're afraid of for your girls? I, I, I want them to know that, uh, that they can... It sounds so cliche, man, but it's true. Like, I, I want to support them and know that they can do whatever they want to do. They're not going to be held back by any sort of... Uh, social standards that they can't live up to, like that they're loved, that they matter, they have value. And I mean, I feel like as a father, that's, a, that's my job. And I'm, I'm just, mm. I'm excited, hopeful that they get to live in a society that, that allows them to have all of that. Yeah. Right. What about that's you, Blair? Well, just that. I think just the, this moment we're having right now, mm -hmm. just the fact that we're paying attention to how we interact with each other, men and women and in the workplace all over the world. I, as a father for my 19 year old daughter, it's an encouraging, exciting mm. time. Right. I'll ask them a really interesting question, which I asked Kate as well. If there was, okay, if we could do a parade for International Women's Day, okay? We were Ooh. doing this big parade for International Women's Day. Which woman in this world oh. would you put on the main float? <laughs> <laughs> I better Who'd say be my your... wife. Oh, wife. that's oh, so, safe. Wife. <laughs> so safe. Of course it's safe. I'm trying to live. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm so safe. So besides, Blair's besides, wife. Besides my wife? Yes, besides. Like, uh, a, like, of course you admire your wife, but like yeah. a woman icon that you admire or somebody you think should be on a main, oh, the main float man. to sort of, you know, empower other women. I got you. Cicely Tyson. Ooh, tell us 90, why. Cicely Tyson, yeah, 91 years old, incredible actress, two-time Emmy Award winner, one of my inspirations, um, came along a long time ago, but she was a model. She's, she just won the Tony at... I think 89 years old. And she lived life on her own terms, she lives life, always. lived and lives life on her own terms. So I have nothing but love for her. And that's so important for women around the world to know that, you know, take charge of your own lives and don't let anyone tell you your, you know, your dream is small. Mm. What about you, well, Alan? I saw your Kate interview and I was going to say Oprah, so I have to pull that back. Oprah! Oh, yeah, we do think Oprah, but who so, would yours So now be? you just gave Blair, but it's fine. I'm going to put <laughs> all three of my girls in the middle of that float. There you go. I wanted to know that they should be celebrated and that they're incredible and they would feel that in the moment. I hope they feel that every day. Really. So last yeah. question, gentlemen. Do you consider yourselves, watch their faces when I ask this question, do you consider yourselves feminists? Yes. Okay, so hold up. Yes. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yes. Play your role, brother, play your role. How would you define as the feminine one? How would you define a feminist? So to me, a feminist or a feminism means giving women opportunities to take their own decisions without being judged. 
just mm. like men have enjoyed for centuries where like if a woman if a woman works till she's 50 she's like oh my god will she be a bad mom as well whereas when a man does it it's not even mm, questioned so true. hypocritical things that don't allow women to make their own decisions without being judged a woman should do this a woman should speak like this a woman why are we always told what we should do Right. So give us equal opportunities without judging us. That's what, to me, feminism is. So are you guys feminists? So based on all that, I'm all in. Count me in. <laughs> As am I. What, is feminism, what did feminism mean to you? It really means strength. It means equality. Mm -hmm. It means strength. Mm -hmm. It means everything I discuss. I want for my, my, my daughter, my wife, my sisters, um, friends, you, everybody else. So um, that's what feminine means. Feminism means to me. Equality. Equality. Definitely. And you? Yeah, I agree. I mean, the lack of double standards that we see in society all over the place drives me nuts, specifically for me at least, in the industry that we're in. Uh, and mm. and that, that's got to it's got to stop. And I don't know what we're, we're doing all that we can do. I'm hoping that I can do all that I can do. But uh, equality. I don't mean to just keep... No, that no. That's, <laughs> that's on point, though. That's, that's what it is. Well, that is that amazing. It. Feminists right here, proud male feminists. And truly, feminism needs men. And it's amazing to see men like that who are raising really strong daughters mm. to, you know, set an example to the rest of the world. Thank you, guys. I'll be back with more people that I admire. Happy Women's Day. All right. Happy Women's Day. Bye. 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 Hi everyone, so I'm on set and it's pretty empty right now because we've broken for lunch, but I really wanted to talk to you guys. Um, it's International Women's Day and that's really, really exciting because I feel like this is such a great time to empower girls and women around the world and, and you know, make them understand and, and, you know, see that this is an opportunity we have, our lives are an opportunity we have that we, we can't allow anyone to take away from us. So I wanted to get you guys through the day talking to a few of my friends who are proud feminists um, and just for you to hear their take on things. Um, let me see if I can get a few of them on. Um, before I do that, I want to take a few questions, which is, Sumed, where are you, ma'am? I'm in New York. I'm shooting Quantico. Then, uh, um, Prince, hi. Um, okay. Shuja, hi. Natalia, OMG, OMG, right back. <laughs> all right, cool. I mean, there's, okay, all of these questions coming up, but wait, all right, uh, I'll answer your questions through the day, um, but I'm also gonna get my friends to do it. So here's my friend, Kate Bosworth, who you all know. She's an amazing actress. Um, her new movie that she just launched is called Tate. She looked epic at the Oscars. So let's see if I can get her. Kate, are you around? All right, let me see. Hmm. Kate. Looking. This searching business is a lot. What is her, her handle? Get, yeah, <laughs> I'm so bad at this. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I can't even find it. <laughs> Technical issues, I'll be back. 